like, share, subscribe. Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 62 says the table above, and you can see the table here, gives some values for the function h, which is defined for all real numbers x. If h is an odd function, okay, this actually has a specific meaning, odd function. There we go. Um, what is the value of c? And really the key to answering this is understanding what an odd function is. So a function that is odd has this property. So all uh, odd functions, for all odd functions, um, and really if you don't know what an odd function is, you're not really going to be able to answer this question. I mean, you could always guess and get it right, but... Uh, yeah, we got to know what an odd function is. So for an, all, uh, for an odd function, for all odd functions, f of negative x is equal to negative f of x. And so basically what this means is that if you have a negative x value, like so let's say we know, like in this case, we know what f of two, negative 2 is, right? So f of negative 2 is equal to negative 4, right? f of negative 2 is equal to negative 4. So if f of negative 2 is equal to 4, and because it's odd, we can say that f of negative 2 equals negative f of 2, or the opposite of f of 2, and we know that f of negative 2 is negative 4, we can say that negative 4 is equal to negative f of 2. And so negative 4 is equal to negative f of 2. If we're trying to find what f of 2 is, because that's what c is, uh, we could divide both of these by negative 1 and get 4 equals f of 2. So our answer is 4. But another way of thinking about it is that for an odd function, whatever, the x va whatever value the function takes on for any given x value, um, for the opposite x value, so meaning like you know, the opposite of 5 is negative 5, for instance, so if we know what f of 5 is, we can say what f of negative 5 is uh, by just negating whatever that y value was. So if I look at this and I say, okay, well, um, I've got a coordinate at negative 2, negative 4. Since it's an odd function, that means I have to have a point at 2, comma, positive 4. When I flip the sign on the x, I have to flip the sign on the y, and that's because the function is odd. This is really the key here. So that's really all there is to it, is understanding what an odd function is. Um, I'll throw this out there just to, you know, th th this particular question didn't ask about it, but if you get a question about an even function, um, the, uh, for all even functions, what is true is that f of negative x equals f of x. So in other words, like if it said this, if we had the exact same question here, but it said h was an even function, then this value would have to be the same as this value. So the answer would be negative 4. So in odd functions, the value is the opposite. And for even functions, they're the same when you negate the x value. Um, so yeah, good to know this just in case that comes up. But for this particular question, we see that the answer is e4. Uh, uh, so that's it for number 62. Y'all have a great day.